Okay, so I have this new 2023 Tesla Model Y and I ordered the factory uh, hitch option. And so we've had this car for a week now. And the other day I thought, oh, it'd be great. Let me go for, I'm gonna go do some cycling and I'm gonna take my bike with me. And uh, which is the whole reason why I ordered the hitch so I could put my bike rack on there. Uh, so I immediately noticed the issue that there is not a lot of room in there. Um, and I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Uh, as far as putting a hitch pin lock on there, I like to lock my bike rack um really if i was towing anything i'd want to lock it so that it can't be removed from the vehicle uh so i found a solution and i want to kind of show you the problem then i'll show you the solution okay so normally what i use uh with my bike rack is this right here okay it's the lock so whenever i went to put it in so normally i would go in from this side right and i would lock it but this right here the wiring harness really makes it hard now obviously i could pull this back and i could get it in there and probably lock it the issue is i wouldn't be able to get the key in there to get it off so i'm really glad that i actually checked this out um, before locking it the other day because that would have been a, a huge um, problem to try to get the key um, out or to get the key in there to get the lock off. So what I did, and, and this is just another example of one that I have laying around, another hitch pin lock. Um, these kind work great too. Same thing. I found that I would not be able to get this in and get a lock on there and be able to unlock it again and pull it off. So, and you might think, okay, well, why not just go in from the other side? Well, because this cover, the, the wiring harness is in the way. You can't get the angle right. So, so these are the two that I had on hand. Um, you know, they this one and, and, and this style here, which again came with the bike rack, not gonna work. So luckily I just took a regular hitch pin and uh, with a cotter pin, which is I use for my fifth wheel uh, hitch. And that works fine. You can actually put it in here you know, and, and this is just, this is, instead of having my bike rack out here, I have one of these laying around. So I just, you know, normally you'd have this in here, right? And you put it in and then you could just put this on. So you'd put this on. Now it's, now it's good, right? But someone could steal it. So if you have a, you know, $500 bike rack on here, someone could just pull this out, take this out and uh, take your bike rack. And even if your bike's on there, that's even worse. <laughs> They'll take everything. Okay, so here's the solution that I found. I got this on Amazon. It was really cheap. Um, I will post uh, the link down in the description, but it's just your standard, and I just unpackaged it, so bear with me. But it's just your standard 90 degree lock. And I'm gonna try this for the first time so everyone can see um, how, it, how it works. So let's give it a try. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna give this a try. So. Um, I, I won't bother putting this in because you get the idea. It's just to make sure that this is going to work uh, the way that we hope it will. So, so now I'm going to go ahead and take this, put it in, and then we should be able to get this in here like so and just push it on. So there we go. See, got plenty of room. Um, and then I should be able to easily unlock it. And basically just pull from the other side, pull it out. So there we go. That is what you need. So there we go. So yeah, if you have a Tesla Model Y and you have the factory hitch, I'm not sure what an aftermarket one would look like, but I didn't want to go that route. I know they're not cheap as an option uh, from Tesla, but like I said, for me, um, it's just strictly to put my bike rack on there whenever I go riding and um, yeah so I hope this uh, is useful for you and uh, I'm going to post the link in the description uh, to the item on Amazon where you can buy it and uh, I think I saw another video on YouTube and the guy that had bought the same kind of adapter from a different company it was like $25 so I've me being kind of a cheapskate I found the one on Amazon I think it's like 12 bucks so um, it was it was on a discount when I bought it. Hopefully it'll still be that way whenever you go to buy it. 
Um, but yeah, hopefully you found this useful. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. Thank you.